Hello guys, welcome to our course Python for Data Analysis. In this section, we will be talking about list comprehension in Python. We will explore how list comprehension provides a concise and expressive way to create a list in Python. So, before we get started, you know what to do. Like this video, put your question in the comment section, and don't forget to subscribe. Let's code. 9 to 5 data. List comprehension is a compact way to create a list in Python and by applying an expression to each item in an iTable. It provides a more concise and readable alternative to traditional method of creating lists using loops. List comprehension consists of an expression followed by a loop and optionally one or more if conditions. It allows us to create lists in a single line of code, making our code more expressive and efficient. So. For example, we have the expression and then for an item in iTable, so we use a for loop and optionally an if condition can be used at the end. So this list comprehension allows us to write an iTable code in just a single line of code. Let's go into our Jupyter notebook to take example of list comprehension. So we'll start our list comprehension examples by first doing the traditional method of using loop to create a list. So for example, we want to create a list of squares of numbers. Using the traditional method of for loops, we need to create an empty list. And let's say the empty list is squares equals to an empty list and we run this. So then we can use range to do that. So for i in range, so we want to create a list of squares of numbers within one to five. So we want one and the square of one. We want to square the square of two, the square of three, the square of four, and the square of five. So we say we're starting with one comma six. You know, Python is a zero index based language. So we have set our starting and the end point of our range. So put a comma and then the next thing is we append the square of each item in the range to the empty square list we have created initially. So what we'll do is number square we do equals to i raised to power 2. Raised to power 2 is 2 asterisk raised to power 2. So we have squared the number. This is square of the number. Each number. So the square of each number, we append this to our empty list. So we'll do squares dot append number square. So then we run this. So we cannot print our square as a list of squares. So we want to print our squares. So we can see now that the list of squares comes in a list. So, and each item we have one, square of one is one the square of two is equals to four and the square of three is nine the square of four is 16 and the square of five is 25. you can see the number of lines of code we have to write to arrive at this and that is why we have list comprehension which will allow us to do this by just writing a single line of code and to do that now using list comprehension using list comprehension so we can say square equals to the iTrable elements have to be in a list so we bring our list the square bracket and we say what we want to do we want to do the square of number one to five so we are going to use range so sometimes it depends on the way you understand it you can write the iteration first and put the result at the back so let's say for i in range one to six so 
what we want is the square of each number so if we run this now let's say print squares you can see we have the same result as earlier with just a single line of code and that is the advantage of using list comprehension we can also get more examples that can involve adding a condition because right now we just don't have a condition in this list comprehension it's just like an iteration so we can have a list comprehension with a condition attached to it so let's say for example we want to get we have a list of numbers and we want to filter out the even number and the odd number from the list of numbers so we can do this using list comprehension so for example let's say more examples on list comprehensions examples on list comprehension so we have a list of numbers equals to one two three four five six seven, eight, nine, ten. so we have this list of numbers and we want to filter out the even numbers and the odd numbers so can write list comprehensions for this filter you say even numbers equals to like we said we want to have a list we use our square bracket list so we want to arrive at number for list of numbers in the numbers list if so for us to be able to get even numbers from this list now we know that any number divisible by two without a remainder will be termed as an even number so we say norm modulus two equals equals zero so this is a is an even number so what we are trying to do here is that we want to return a number for the iterable element if that particular number is divisible by two so that is our even number so for the odd number what we do is odd numbers equals so we put the same code, but this time around, we just change the condition. So we just say norm for norm in numbers, if norm modulus two is not equals to zero. So we know that any numbers divided by two, where the result is not equals to zero, the number is not even. So the number is odd because it has a remainder. It is not, equals to the remainder is not equals to zero so if we run this and let's say print even number and print odd numbers print even numbers even number And do print odd number odd number and we run this so we get the result of our even numbers and odd numbers and from here now we can see everything is in a list and we have for even numbers we have two four six eight 10 and for odd numbers we have 1 3 5 7 9 so we achieve this using just a single line of code compared to the traditional method of doing this where you have to write several lines of for loops to come across this so in this lesson we have talked about how to use the list comprehension and also we have talked about how to use the list comprehension with a condition so we have come to the end of the video don't forget to put your question in the comment section like the video and subscribe to the channel. Happy coding.